right now he's monitoring the, all five of the pulverizers. We have we have A, C, D, and E pulverizers running right now. Right down here he has the condensate system. You got condensate pumps, you're monitoring your water levels, your DA, your condensate storage. Your boiler drum here, here's your boiler feed pumps. If you look at the screens, you can see he has one boiler feed pump running. The other one that's down here in magenta, that is actually locked out right now. And he's monitoring his air flows, his fuel flows right here. Right here's his coal conveying. That's all the coal conveyors we have out there running from our plant silos and into the plant here, into the in-house bunkers. Screen here, that's your alarm summary. Every alarm that comes in, comes into that summary and he can acknowledge them from any screen. It'll come in as an audible alarm and then show up there. Okay. And then this is the iconic alarm screen that comes in and tells you what system, basically what system the alarm's coming Chuck is monitoring some of the same other things, only he's got the air condenser, air cool condenser over here. That's all the fans. Air runner. These are the igniters. These are your flame scanners that are picking up on the pulverizers that are running. So you can see the flame scanners on B right here. Those are all black because that mill is shut off. Every one of these other mills is on. And these are your flame scanner intensities. If these start dropping out, then you could lose that mill. This over here is just basically for your turbine, both these screens. These are the flames in the boiler. That's from your pulverizers. Right here is a set of burners. Here's another set of burners. These are opposite walls of each other. They kind of don't really represent because you'd think that they'd be blowing in from both ways, but they're actually just kind of turned around, so they would actually blow towards each other in the center. But as you can see, you can see the coal coming in around the outside here. How, how do you have a camera in there when it's, uh, <laughs> when it's it, so hot? It actually has purge air. The camera's in a port on the outside and a purge air on the outside that's always blowing down the tube. Okay. You can actually pull that tube out of there and put your hands up. Otherwise, no, you wouldn't.